Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So now we will continue our learning on flowing material balance analysis using Harmony Enterprise software. It's a very powerful tool, so I think it's very you know, important and useful for us to learn about this analysis using the software. Okay, so again, we are going to do FMB analysis, flowing material balance analysis, and we will apply it in an oil well. I'm going to use example case provided by the software, and we are going to perform the analysis for transient case. So transient here means that the well hasn't reached the boundary dominated flow regime. Okay, so we are still in transient flow regime. Okay, what happens? And yeah, let's see. Let's let's go through it. So now we go to vertical. Assume it's a vertical well. And then of course the face is oil. And we jump to FMB. All right, so first thing first. Flowing material balance analysis, ray transient analysis, it's, I think it's quite a long methodology, okay? You need to combine several methods until you can arrive at one conclusion, okay? But uh, regarding the time, I, I just think that maybe we can, for now, for this video, we can just go directly onto the FMB analysis. We will skip other analysis. Okay, because it will take some time to do that. So we just go to FMB analysis. All right, so this is the window. I'm going to expand the analysis. All right, so we have here plot options, oil FMB, and other parameters. And this is the calculation results. And this is our main window. All right, and of course, one of the most important output that we expect is the original oil in place for this particular well, okay? So this original oil in place doesn't, you know, it's not necessarily about the entire reservoir. Basically, it's about for the, the well, okay? So this is the in place connected to the well, all right? Or the in place contacted by the well. So it's not talking about the entire reservoir, okay? To come up with the conclusion that now you can get the in place for the entire reservoir, you need further analysis, you need interference analysis, okay? But let's say we are just focusing on one particular well, so it's the in place for that specific well. All right, so let's go. Again, it's transient case. First, I'm going to squeeze it. Let's review our data. So now we only take oil FMB. So everything here is the FMB data. And you know, the data is quite random like this. First, we need to go to filter the data, okay? To filter it, we go to here, okay? Wait a minute, you can see that, okay? Data filter transient oil so first tools to select data points for filtering first i'm going to deselect all data points so it's like this apply close so everything will be like this or sorry if i tick this one select all data points okay and i mean here select all data points so everything will be included, apply, close, so it will be like this, okay? It makes me rather difficult to, to distinguish any important or particular specific pattern in this data that is very random. So I can go to filter it, again, click on this one, and then you can select you know, data that you want, either using rope, you can also select points, something like that. But let's say we're going to fully automatic, we, we will perform automatic filtering. And let's select, for example, median filter. Okay. So perform median filter, apply, close. So we select the best data for us to use 
for this calculation. And then for the rest, you can hide them, hide disabled points. So now we can focus only on this one. So this is our FMB data points. You can see a trend, for example, here. Okay, we can see a clear trend there. Let's first neglect what happens earlier, right? Because it's a very early time of the production. Most of the time it's a wellbore, you know, wellbore phenomena. We can neglect it, but there is a change in FMB here. So we need to explain this. But let's say we keep this conclusion, we are going to select this trend. Okay. You can also use this if you want to focus the analysis or the regression only on this section. You can also do that. Okay. So you focus only on this green triangle data. You can also do that. Okay. But let's first select everything. Okay or deselect everything like this. All right, but FMB analysis alone is not, it's not sufficient, okay? So let's enrich our analysis with first activating the multi-phase module. Okay, so it's like this. And now by activating the multi-phase, now I can also show the productivity index. Previously, I cannot show the PI, the productivity index, but by activating multi-phase, now I can show the PI. It's a very important indicator also. Okay, so now our PI is like this. Let's uncheck the FMB. So you see we have the PI like this. And it's not very, you know, very interesting. It's not very good looking because we see a change in PI also here. So you have a stable or constant, more or less constant PI there, but then it increases. What happens there? You need to explain that, okay? But let's say I'm going to make it like this, okay? Because yeah, if you maximize, of course you can, you can detect very easily any change, but it's not very useful if you just zoom everything. So yeah, let's do like this, okay? Because maybe the change in PI, it's not that significant. Okay, so using the scaling, we can say that more or less at this period, all right, at this interval, we have a stable, relatively speaking, PI that is constant. But still, there is increase there. Now we can, again, show the FMB analysis. Okay, and if we, you know, if we stop here, we can come at the first conclusion, early conclusion that our drainage area is around 700 acres. And this is the calculated, you know, original oil in place connected with this well. Okay, and others, you can see cumulative production, and then if the recovery factor is assumed to be 20%, then it's calculated the expected ultimate or estimate ultimate recovery here. Okay, but it doesn't end there. We can also show oil rate modeling. Okay, so this is the, you know, oil rate model computed by the flowing material balance model. We have our data points there, all right? And then it, relatively speaking, it's it reaches a good matching with the model, except again for this period. Some, something happens there. The PI changes, the FMB changes, you know, and the oil rate changes. But generally speaking, we have reached, relatively speaking, satisfactory matching. And then again, the flowing pressure we can show data our data and the matching or the the model is quite good okay you can change the pressure like this okay lastly average pressure 
yeah, more or less also quite good, except again at this period. Okay, so yeah. All right. Of course, they are all connected. The productivity index, the oil flowing material balance, you know, the oil rate, the flowing pressure, the average pressure, all of them are connected. Okay. So if you change any analysis, it will also influence others. So Okay. Let's maximize the productivity index. Okay, I'm going to, let's say it's like this. Sorry, I'm going to squeeze the PI. All right. Okay. And then if we assume that we don't have water drive effect on this reservoir or on this well, then we can stop here. Okay, this is our first guess. So we have, you know, original oil in place around nine ninety thousand MSTB. Okay. Wait, wait, sorry. Okay. All right, and let's say we activate the PSS water drive. PSS is pseudo steady state water drive. Let's say, okay. And for example, we change here the original water in place, let's see and change also the, you know, the productivity index. We can better match the pressure and the oil rate. Maybe you can see. Yeah, to put it simply, I want to make it around roughly between this data point for the oil rate, right? And yeah, roughly speaking, it better match the pressure. But of course, you cannot use this if you are sure geologically you don't have an aquifer. Okay. So it's just rough assumption. Let's say we have influence from water drive. But it gives another assumption that pseudo steady state water drive is active in this particular well. So you need to, you know, somehow negotiate between transient case this is actually transient case with the pseudo steady state flow from water drive effect okay so if you want to you know entertain the water drive assumption then you need to negotiate with the transient case okay so yep i think this is how we do the flowing material balance analysis for transient oil case of course it's not our main job here in this video to find at the best conclusion technically speaking we are just focusing on how to arrive or or, or how to use this particular software to use or to to perform fmb analysis properly okay so i think that's all i hope you enjoy this video i hope this video is useful and helpful for all of us thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next harmony enterprise video in this channel thank you